Hello YouTube, Madam Roy back here again, and this is going to be an upgrade video for my new Dell Optiplex 755. Now, I kind of told a fib, and my last video I acted like I didn't have everything to do the upgrades with. Well, I did. Sorry about that. <laughs> I purchased it about a week ago, and... Here are some of the parts I will be replacing. First we have a GeForce, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 7300 GT graphics card. Um, it doesn't say it on there, so you just got to trust me. Um, I know that's what this is. I've used it in another system previously. Um, not the highest end card. But again, this is not going to be a gaming computer. All I'm using this for is, like I said, an iTunes server and hope possibly to store some, uh, sorry guys, a little tongue-tied today, picture files. So that's just fine. Next thing we have, two, two gigabyte sticks of Corsair XMS2 Extreme DDR2 memory. This is running at 800 megahertz. Um, this is gaming memory. This came out of my gaming setup, which I will be doing a video on in the next couple of weeks. You know, I know it's overkill, but it's what I had lying around, so that's what's going in the system. Next we have a Western Digital Caviar 500 gigabyte serial ATA hard drive and the, I believe this is a SATA 3 drive um, it does not say specifically I'll have to look that up online later uh, this actually came out of a in, out of an external drive casing um, that I no longer had a use for but the drive is in good shape I've run all the diagnostics on it and it's good enough for what I need with this computer and last but not least, I have a 12-in-1 memory card that I got off of eBay. Um, this card reader was really cheap. I got three of them for about $2 a piece. Um, you know, they're not the greatest, but they do read high-capacity SD cards, and they get the job done. Okay, well, let's delve into some of these upgrades, and they should not take too long. Let me see if I can reposition the camera a little bit better for this. And yes, I am using my tripod, as uh, so many of you have requested. Okay, the first thing I will be working on and replacing is this hard drive. Very easy on these Dells. Pop out the power cord. Pop out the SATA cord. And then you just push these two tabs in. Drive pulls right out. Now what was in here is an 80 gigabyte hard drive. Now you may say this is useless, but uh, no way. This is going to go in my mom's Dell, which I ordered at the same time as this and should be arriving tomorrow. Take that, you just pop one side, comes right out. You can put the new hard drive in. You just have to line up these two screw inserts on the side here. Then pull this out and just kind of guide it in a little bit. Don't force it in. And once you have it there, just make sure the screws are inserted. And that's it. Now stick the hard drive in. Let it snap in place. Plug in the SATA cord. and the SATA power cord. Okay, that's the hard drive. Next thing I'm going to do is install the memory. 
in this particular system, there are four DDR2 RAM slots. It can hold a total of eight gigabytes of memory with a total of two gigabytes per slot. So the first thing I have to do is take out these two five, I'm sorry, these are two one gig, two one gig memory sticks. We can put those to the side. And now I can install the two two gigabyte Corsair sticks. One thing to note, whenever installing memory in a dual channel board, you have to install like pairs and you have to follow the memory slots. There's usually D1, I'm sorry, uh, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. And they're usually designated by two white uh, caps for the A, 1A and B and black for the 2A and 2B. Now to put this in, we just line up the RAM. And I hope you guys can see this. And push firmly, not too hard, until you hear that snap. And we'll go ahead and do the same for the other stick. And that's going to go right here. And there you go. Now I got four gigabytes of RAM installed and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. The next thing I am going to do is install the video card. And on this system, it is very easy. There's a little latch inside here. You push down and it undoes this little bracket in the back. And I will have to put this down to do this. try and get you guys the best shot I can and you stick the video card in like so and when you have it lined up with the slot you put even pressure in the middle until again like with the memory you hear that little snap that will tell you that it's in place and this video card does not require any external power source so all I have to do is shut this up and you can see the new video card is installed. Now, the last thing we have to do is to install the memory card reader. Um, I am not going to film this because I don't have the screws right now to install it. But if anybody's interested on these Dells, the memory card reader will fit right in here where normally the floppy would go and there is a USB header on the motherboard and it is right here. Just line up where the blank pin is and plug it in. And that is how to upgrade the hard drive, the memory, and the video card on a Dell Optiplex 755 and continue and stay tuned for my next videos coming very shortly where we'll be upgrading my mom's new system um, it is a Optiplex 745 so it'll be very similar to this and that's it everybody have a nice day